Welcome back, my name is Arjen Trouve, founder of Mindmaps Unleashed and Carefree Mind, the places where you learn how to remove the noise from your head and environment and create a carefree mind and overview in your information. Today we have a look at using Mindmapper 12 with more color and images. Very important. Last time we uh, talked about this, that you can create a mind map really fast in the first video that was. Uh, well, you know how to do this now. You know how to create a simple mind map using text only. But this is really left brain thinking. And what we will do right now is we will involve the right brain side. This is the side that loves images, loves colors. And when you combine the two, the colors, the images, the words and the mind map structure, your brain will love you for that. Really. Uh, it will be so much easier to look at lots of information and see more clarity in it. You will understand things better. And now remember, uh, there are two ways to do this. Uh, the traditional way, which is more in line with the Tony Bazan way of creating mind maps. Uh, Tony Bazan, the creator of mind mapping. And there is the uh, second way, uh, the second method, which is much more practical. And I will urge you to use this type of mind maps when you're just looking for overview. If you're not really uh, in a position that you need to remember everything, the practical way of mind mapping is really good as well. Okay, now two ways. First one, the traditional way. There are a couple of ways we can use mind mapper to create very look, very nice looking mind maps uh, with lots of images, and I will show you that, of course. Uh, the first thing uh, we can use the legend. Just click on it, and you will see a number of images, small images uh, up here. Letters, numbers, status, people, flags, and some general things. Okay, well, you can use all this. Uh, you can position the uh, legend icon to the left of the text or to the right of the text. For instance, um, I want to add some information here. I need to organize things. Very important. Okay, I'll click on it and I select this. When I click here, the icon is moved to the right hand side. When I do not want the icon here anymore, I click on it again or I press here the remove. Now I do want this and by the way I want to have it this way the exclamation. Um, I want it from my head to the screen and I will use it maybe there's something okay we can use this for a use it maybe this one is better as you can see there's also a way of using a, a number of icons you can only use each icon once but you can use multiple icons on one node okay so this is uh, something you can do what some people also do is they use the numbers to make sure that step one is Organize? No, of course not. Step one is from your head to the screen. Okay, then I would do it like this. It's number one. And this is number two. I don't really like that because the uh, mind map is already telling me this is the first one, this is the second one. So why use numbers anyway? Uh, you could use this to give a priority. For instance, uh, the most important things in a planning in my mind map, for instance, are the numbers 1, 2, and 3. Um, red is more important than blue, for instance. So play with that. Use these small things and it will give you a little bit more clarity. It will give you also a little bit more right brain side thinking in your mind map. So this is the first one, the legend. We don't need this one anymore. Uh, we go to the clip arts. Very important. More clip arts, more um, more categories, uh, shapes, businesses, leisure, people, etc. Um, what I would do normally is, for me, most of the uh, icons in the business one are interesting. Is it difficult? No. Again, you just select your node and then you click on the icon. 
what you can see immediately is well it's placed to the right hand side what I normally do is I place it above and right now I can again drag the uh, corner to the uh, outside make the image uh, a little bit bigger do you know what happens when you use images on all your uh, nodes yes you probably do <laughs> because what will happen is that this one gets three images which will make it really tall and this one as well so for me most of the time I only use images on the um, on the first level node so this is the first level this is the second level etc only on the first level um, and that is only on the mind maps that I create for people that they have to uh, look at the mind map as well it's not for my own mind maps because for me I don't really use mind mapping to create um, mind maps for studying that much what I do is I create mind maps which give me overview for instance in a planning for my business for my personal life etc so that's what I do in my mind maps I don't uh, create many of them just to get a nice picture well I don't create any of them to create a nice picture I only want to organize the information which is in my head in my in, in my uh, environment and order create order structureize it and go and use it um, the uh, second one then that is the um, clip arts there's a really nice one in mind mapper 12 and for this we need to go to a different tab and that's the insert tab and what it does is uh, we can use the screen capture option very very interesting uh, let me just get my internet browser and for instance we are looking for a word or, or a picture on organizing information you go to google.com slash images and we type in organize okay all kinds of pictures what you can do is you can drag this one out of your um, map or out of your um, uh, screen make sure that you only do that when you have the slightly larger picture don't do it like this because if I do it like this um, it just um, creates a link if I do it like this and I drag it it creates an image but we don't need to do that because we can do a screen capture so organizing the information would for instance be this nice picture um, I click on screen capture I drag a little box around the image and there we go there it is now it's not connected to the organizer don't worry um, right mouse button cut this one click on your I uh, on your note right mouse button paste special and use clip art and there you go mm, but it doesn't look right okay no problem um, two ways uh, we can go right here to the clip art or we just press the uh, green tab on the side and what we probably want to do is move the image on top of the word make it a little bit bigger and there you go now you have the image in your map want to remove it again click here and it removes it so um, this is a simple way of adding images to your mind map uh, usually people who are really mind mapping uh, enthusiasts who use the traditional way of mind mapping they use lots of images all around their map for me I don't really do that uh, not because it doesn't work it does work but it's a lot of work <laughs> it's a lot of work and if you're just looking for overview in your information it's usually much more productive to use hardly any images but use the practical way of using more color to please your right brain side so what do I mean with this I'll remove this I'll remove the property of the clip art and I'll remove all the 
other things as well. The legend. Okay, this one is gone. This one is gone. This one is gone. Okay, now we're back to what we had. The practical way of using more color. What you need to know is that a mind map is a representation of the information in your head, but then on your screen. And in my mind, organized action, thoughts and ideas, that's not equally important. Um, from head to screen, that's good, but it's the organizing part which is very important. And what I usually do is I make then the organize, the word, a little bit larger. What I can also do is make a screen and head not bold anymore, and perhaps even a little bit smaller. And when I look at actions, thoughts, ideas, what do I need to, uh, what is for me the order in that? Well, the most important one is my thoughts. I'll use a little bit different background on this. I'll make it a little bit larger when it allows me to do that. Yes. Um, actions, mm -hmm, that would be something less important. And ideas, yeah, that's important, but it shouldn't be this one. Okay, so we drag this one to the bottom. And as you can see, what happens is that this part of your mind map has more emphasis on thoughts, of course, than on screen and ideas and actions. When you have a look at this map on this side, on this right hand side of the map, the first time your mind will be automatically drawn to organize and thoughts. And probably first thoughts, then organize. That's the way your mind works. So use that in your mind maps on, um, on your screen as well. What we can also do is, of course, um, not make this really small. But what we can also do is change the font of this. If I make it a little bit uh, more gray, well, it's less important probably. And combine that with a smaller font size, it doesn't get noticed that easily. So this way you can play with colors and other things, uh, font sizes, uh, background colors, uh, to make sure that you create an overview which represents your ideas on this topic. Very, very important. Uh, of course, you can do this on your map as well. On the other side, you can change the um, the center. By the way, um, I'm not a real big fan of using images in the um, in the middle of my mind map, in the center of my mind map, because um, let me put it like this. Tony Buzan says, center, three to five colors, make it something you really want to look at, make it very important. To me, the center of my mind map, the topic of my mind map, is not that important at all. It's the information around it which is very important. So what I usually do is I make the center of my mind map small and maybe even a little bit uh, gray because uh, this is important and what you can see immediately now this whole section doesn't look that important anymore however this part does and you can change that even when you look at the line color and make this orange for instance or red so this gets important in your mind in your mind this is less important play with that and see what it does for you uh, remember you can always contact me for the personal coaching call again go back to your email use the link sign up Num uh, limited uh, number of seats of course uh, by the way a, a couple of your uh, co mind map creators um, signed up already so make sure that you sign up as well so we can have a good mind mapping experience for you as well go to here's the link again uh, http mindmapshop.com slash mindmapper 
videos when you go to that link and by the way now you know how you can change the color and the font to make it look like it's a genuine link <laughs> yes now you can do that as well um, go there sign up if you haven't done that already and make sure that you sign up for the personal coaching call after that i look forward to working with you enjoy your mind maps and remember next time we'll use connections and hyperlinks very important again uh, because then we go from a simple mind map to a really smart network of mind maps enjoy uh, your mind mapping we'll talk soon thank you bye bye